Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Europe as Austria. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So we're still at war with the Polish and the Romans. Like, I'd be fine piecing out with the Romans. I just wanted to, you know, free Venice, but... Wow, they're actually extremely close. Build the building so you don't die. Great profit here. Like, I want your... Let's just kill him. But that's all I wanted. I want him dead. Yeah, create a great work, sure. You'd be dead if you do that. Is there anybody that we can have to... Nope, that's not gonna work. I just need, like, one more shot off, but... We don't get any money, but it's fine. Crossbowmen. Take some pot shots at these guys. And there's still more Polish guys over there. Like, what's, what's this war even about? Like, why are you so mad at me? Like, I don't... I feel like I've done nothing to you, Poland. I apologize twice for you spying on me. I gave you open borders when you asked for it. But then you just straight up attack me. Like, come on, man, that's... I would kind of classify that as a bit of a dick move. Trebuchet, I don't even know what you're going to be used for in this war. Other than maybe taking on a bunch of Polish cities in the north and burning them all down to the ground. Like, that seems like it might be worthwhile. You have any sh shots? You don't... Poland, like, this war doesn't need to happen. I feel like I've won already. Well, I've won against Poland. I have not won against the Romans. That's absolutely certain. We have two MPs down here, but, you know, they're not going to do anything. We lost a pike or a swordsman. That's fine. So, when we go back and attack Italy, or we go attack Venice, what are we going to do? We're going to need to put, like, muskets here so they're here, and then, like, three trebuchets or cannons, actually, when that becomes available. At least 24 strength. That's so much better than anything that they can throw at us right now. Like, what's this guy doing? Look at him there. Silly guy. Oh, he's already dead. Okay, fair enough. So he's also dead. We have some musketeers. We're kind of prepare a, like a new army to go into... Um, into Rome. I think I'll be b building Oxford because I do want chemistry to be ready. What's actually the longest tech? It'll be eight for navigation. I really wish maybe we had some better techs available, but what can you do? Other than just pump out musket men because that's what we need. Medic is fantastic. You go back one tile to heal. Yeah, we'll take this time to heal our troops. Take some pot shots. Uh, you guys can't really do much. Oh, we have a Budapest soldier here. We can put him up with a little bit of archer support. He can go on this small city over here. You guys kind of just scout ahead. I like. I don't care about you. Now with the archers, what are they going to do? I don't know. He's just going to stay here and defend. Well, not defend, but, like, do nothing. We can't do the attack here. We can do a small attack here. It'll be a victory. Poland, Poland, Poland. You silly goose. Also, they want us to do this. So, um... I think we just want Medic. I think Medic might be the best one. Rough terrain, because that's basically everything around here. Yeah, rough terrain expert and the medic. We're going to build cannons, and then we're going to attack Venice. I think that sounds like a plan. 
Bucharest has a new ally. I don't care. Well, now, now Attila's spying on us, so he's probably going to attack as soon as well, because, you know, why not? Yeah, I'm not surprised, but... Oh, there's Russia. How are you? So where's North Moscow? It's right there. Size 17. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but that's fine. Those both seem kind of like trash, but that plus two happiness at the end of this seems wonderful. So we'll try to go towards that. Like the musket mana, I'm probably just going to have right on the border. Not doing much. Trebuchet... He's also probably not going to do very much. And like, we got the Romans, or the... Re really? You think I'm the losing... You think I'm losing here? Wait, are we allied to Kiev? H how? How are we? I'll, I'll give him a unit. We'll basically save that horse. Give him to Kiev. I don't. I didn't know they were an ally of ours. But um, if you give me that that city, then I'm not ex unacceptable. Unacceptable, you say? Um. I think you're a little bit mistaken here. I'm gonna look at your look at your military. I mean, my army's still technically weaker than yours. Both of our militaries have actually taken a dive. But you know, just ignore that. Also, there's actually more tabs here that I just apparently have just completely ignored. Culture, population, crop yields. Oh, so many, so many things. Anyway. Like, Poland, like, you're not going to win this, man. Like, he has 24 strength. He has more strength in the city. He's going to have some archer support. Everything here is going to be great. Augustus has just entered the Renaissance. You think he wants a peace? Probably. Like, we have the entire northern border defended now. No, 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 no. You see, I need your city. So how come this turn, he was willing just to do the straight-up peace, but last turn, he needed, like, 5,000 different things from me? Who really knows? Germany, if you want to attack Poland, this would probably be your best opportunity. Maybe he's just scared of my... Scared of my musket, man. I don't even know what. I don't even need the city. I just kind of wanted to burn to the ground. Oh, he's got an impy. Those guys actually have bonus to um, bonus against the musketeers, which is actually kind of dangerous. I said, what I want you to do? I want you to explore. Robert E. Lee. It's a good thing. It's a good thing you've shown up here. Would not have been able to do it without you. Trebuchet, I want down here because I need you to level up at some point. I'm a pair in Spain or not, France? I'm in Portugal, France. I'm not 100% too sure yet. That might be Portugal? Poland, Poland, Poland. You do know that you should absolutely be my ally, right? Well, not my ally. You should just, you know, stop the stupid war. Oh, now, now he wants everything again. Now that, um... Oh, no, is it because Kiev is no longer an ally? Okay. Fair enough. Stuff like Kiev and Bucharest, Prague... Doesn't really matter too much to me. Oh, this stupid terrain is actually trash. It's 
Frebuchet. I guess you're just going to heal until chemistry kicks in. Stupid, um... Do you have a degree general bonus? You do, which is nice. You get a bonus to cavalry. Or bonus against cavalry, I should say. Just keep pumping out musket, man. I think that's what we need. Robert Lee, you're gonna stay there, man. And they're still trying to send missionaries at us. Like, they think they're gonna win. And then convert our people. The Polish, man. I mean, they have way more points. Wow, they have a lot of points. They have a lot of points. And I'm not a fan of that. Hey, Carthage, how are you? Oh, no. They killed my guy. Oh, actually, they're... Military strength around this area is definitely increased. Oh no, that's probably from Belgrade giving them troops. I don't know where their horsemen went. Bombard the city, bombard the city. They do have the bonus, right? Bonus versus gunpowder units. You know what, Poland? This war is done. You s no. So you're so dumb. Anyway, I guess we're gonna march home now because that's over with. Why that ever even happened in the first place, I can't really say. Robert E. Lee, you're needed on this. You know. You need down south now. So you guys are going to heal. Navigation, eight turns? Yeah, it's just usually always best to save the most amount of beakers that way. Trebuchets, we need to upgrade the cannons next turn. I don't have the money for it, so I guess... We're just going to build something that takes a turn? How about you just make money for a turn, and then... That'll be good. Yeah, so we already lost our boat. We can't control the seas. Like, we know that for sure. Like, that's absolutely not going to happen. What's this? Is the Gallius? Is, was Carthage the ally of Jerusalem? They were. Okay. So I guess Carthage and the Spanish were at war for some reason? Wherever we look. There we go. Okay, now I want you guys to build cannons. It's going to take you three turns to get these guys out, but... Well, three, five turns. Um, trebuchet, how much does trebuchets cost to upgrade? Uh, 95 gold. That's more gold than I have. Unsurprisingly, I guess. Yeah, and these guys just all stay alert. Just defend that northern border. And the musketeers will go into Italy. Yeah, he needs to stay there if he wants to upgrade. Oh, so can oh yeah, this is the guy taking on the Gallius. Fertilizer. Food increases. Food. Hey, that sounds good. Chivalry would be nice. Actually, before we look at that, let's look at the bigger picture. Printing press. Banking. Economics, I think, would be good. Older yield, trading post, yield increase. Let's go to economics. We'll get this entire line done. And now farms and um, mines and stuff should be making a lot more production, which is good. So Rome, like you have cavalry and I have muskets. I think I'm going to win any engagements that we have. Just saying, I think maybe you should try to avoid doing this. Uh, sure? Actually, no. I think three is the number that they like. Is it two? Like, I don't need their open borders. Like, I don't care. I'm not going to go into all the, uh, you know, Asia Minor. Or Istanbul and Kara. Even though these are the exact same city in real life. There are two different cities here.
There's a lot of Galliuses here. That's a lot of Galliuses. I don't know why you need so many. Now we're going to build cannons. We're not going to march troops in yet. You guys can't attack naval boat units, so don't even bother. Again, you guys just all stay alert. You're not going to get the money, so maybe we should just start moving in next turn. I feel like next turn definitely going to be our uh, best chance. You got to boot it past, I guess, and just kind of defend the city there. I need the money. Not even a question. We also need this, uh, this musketeer to uh, heal up a little bit. They might take Raz. I don't know where they... I, yeah, I should actually be targeting the... Um, not the Galleuses. I should be targeting the uh, the Trireme. Because the Trireme can actually take the city. The Galleuses cannot because they're ranged units. Like, we should be focusing on the... Uh, on the Galley. Wherever the hell it went. Minor victory. The Empire is unhappy, which is kind of a... You know, a bad thing. Let's get this Great General over forward a little bit. No, he doesn't get the, you know, near Great General bonus. Which is kind of disappointing, but we're going to move our troops in. You're going to attack the Pikemen because you get a little bit of a... It's considered a bonus. The game thinks that we're winning the engagement, so... I'm going to trust the game's judgment here a little bit. The boat will just kind of stay in harbor. It's not going to do anything else. Gonna Budapest defend. You're gonna do nothing because I don't need to die. A harbor? Ah, you can build a shrine. We'll send a musketeer actually south. You can just defend. These troops are, you know, probably under equipped, but. Oh, this guy's actually gonna die. We're gonna probably flip flop these two. Okay, so. I like this song. I don't know what this song's from, but I like the song. This actually sounds like it's probably from Kingdom, if I had to take a guess. So, cannon, cannon. We're gonna have some cannons in a few turns. I really need to be on the front line. We need to take Venice. As soon as Venice falls, like, the rest of Italy should just be, like, a clean, a clean sweep. I don't want to be in Spain. That's really not where I want to be at all. Killed another Polish spy. I hate the Polish! I mean, I'm Polish, but I hate the Polish. Kill this boat. There we go. Uh, build a castle because it's free. Uh, you build... I guess we can build frigates. Frigates are actually awesome. We should actually be building a navy right now because frigates are so good. They're so good. Like a few frigates and um, whatever the other boats... What are the other boats? It's frigates and uh, privateers. You have some of those, you can destroy basically any... Any naval city, which is awesome. Visor counter. We're actually losing money. How can we be saving money? Do we have any uh, trade guys to do? Uh, military overview. We're not oversupply. Who has a lot of money right now? Like, just in just pure gold. Who has a lot of money? Uh, uh, of course it's the Romans that do. Not Germany. Not the Ottomans. Carthage is doing pretty alright, but they're not our friend, are they? Like, I need, a, I need like... I need, like, a handful of... I need, like, 50 gold, man. Yeah, thank you. This is wonderful. I don't need iron at all, so I'll take your resources. Actually, I don't even need horses either. What would you, be, what would you give me for, like, five horses? No, that's absolutely terrible. Give me, like, 20 gold per turn. Uh, 12? It's 10? No ante Dios. I'll give you, what will you give me for all eight horses? No, I don't want that. 
Yeah, like, I, I don't need the horses. I'm not going to be building more horse troops anytime soon. Cannon, uh, yes. Get the bonus versus cities. Move as close to the front line as possible so that we can get the trebuchet in. And I think these guys should have a decent... I mean, they're costly attacks, but... They're not like... You're going to die immediately if you attack them. Which is nice. You need orders, you need orders. And those are the last two options. So I think this actually is going to be the end of the episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name's been Anthony. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you enjoyed, can we stomp down? If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.